Hmm. Hi, I'm Dr. Mehbo, MD Ophthalmology from Ames, New Delhi, and we are back with our continuation series of Take a Sip with Ophtha Quick, where we learn the important topics of ophthalmology related to the NEET PG, Next PG, and FMG examinations in a very short time, three to four minutes. And after that, you will be able to solve most of the MCQs related to that topic. Okay, so do watch all the SOPs, all the SIPs, and it will be a great and fun learning. Now we are here with our next SIP, that is SIP 12. It's not the chapter, it's SIP. It's SIP 12, Corneal Dystrophy Part 3, where we will discuss about the epithelium and stromal tesia beta 1 related things. IC3D classification is not anatomical. Earlier anatomical was anatomical classification was followed like epithelial dystrophy, Bowman's membrane dystrophy, stromal dystrophy and decimates and endothelial dystrophy. This was the cut, clear cut demarcation according to the anatomy. But there was it was seen that most of the coronal dystrophies are not limited to one layer. They are distributed to the two or three layers. So IC3D classification came into play. We have already discussed in the SIP 11 about the different classification of this one, uh, this uh, coronal dystrophy. Now we are with the epithelial and stromal tesia beta 1 gene associated coronal dystrophy. So you will be asked about the name of this. This is very important. So remember Dries Buckler, Thiel Banke, Lattice, Granular, Type 1 and Type 2. These are the TGF beta 1 related dystrophy just remember the name now important point to understand that this this two these two things are associated with the bowman's membrane the why bowman's membrane dystrophy because earlier on it was asked that what are the bowman's membrane coronal dystrophy so they can ask again that what are the coronal dystrophy of bowman's membrane so you have to answer Ries buckler and thiel banke this is one and rest of them are the stromal Second thing that from this you will be learning that all are autosomal dominant, all are autosomal, all are autosomal dominant, AD, autosomal dominant. Now coming to the specific thing that is Ries Buckler coronal dystrophy. Can you see here? Gray white, great gray white discrete patches over the cornea. This gray white sub epithelial deposits of the connective tissues these these are the gray white sub epithelial deposits of the connective tissues and obviously it's an autosomal disease it is thickest in the center this much only you have to know and obviously i have told you this is from the bowman's membrane it's also can you can say according to the older classification this is bowman's membrane coronal dystrophy right moving to the third uh, this one what is this all are important first just see how you can see this is honeycomb like appearance you can see here honeycomb like appearance and in the bowman's membrane curly fibers on histology on histopathology the curly fibers the curly fibers on histopathology the curly fibers. this is can be a question honeycomb can be a question and the central stroma obviously just like what just like the Ries buckler central stroma means both the bowman's membrane coronal dystrophy that is Ries Buckler and Thiel Benke are centrally involved, central involves the central cornea only. And the specific feature is this. But to differentiate between the Ries Buckler and this Thiel Benke, you have to apply the confocal microscopy or electron microscope. This is very important. And it is also an autosomal dominant condition. This much you have to know about Thiel Benke and the Ries Buckler. We will be discussing in the next step the stromal dystrophy where we will we will be discussing this rest three part that is lattice coronal dystrophy granular and the stroma macular dystrophy okay now so do watch all the sip of this uh, series you will be having a great learning and fun learning and you will be able to do mcqs in a very short time uh, just take the sip and watch this thank you